Many people are furious that London is covered in happy Ramadan lights over Easter. Yes, I'm quite sure a great many people are furious about the Ramadan lights hanging over the streets of London over the Easter weekend. The reason they're so furious is because of creators like this and because of the likes of GB News and the Daily Mail, media outlets that want to drum up fury for the simple reason of selling papers, getting views, making money. That's what this is about. But realistically, let's take a step back for a moment. Let's look at the actual facts. One, when have you ever seen Easter lights hanging over the streets of London? Not a single time, that is not a thing. It's not Christmas time. We don't have Easter lights generally over the streets of London. Two, these Ramadan lights were paid for by an independent, private Muslim charity. They were not paid for by the government. They're not paid for by the council. The council haven't put them there to shove Islam into your face. A charity has put their hands into their pockets and given money to have them installed so they can share an important time of their calendar with the rest of the country. If you don't like it, don't look at it. If you're so bothered by it, if you want Easter to be represented in the same way, then rather than sitting on your bum and complaining about things, put your hand in your pocket, go to the council and give them money to put up Easter lights. Because remember, as much as you might say the UK is a Christian country, yes, it's predominantly Christian, but the UK is a secular country. Just like where I'm sitting right now in Malaysia is a predominantly Muslim country where the state religion is Islam, but this is a secular country. There are many, many religions, and all of them have as much right to be celebrated as the next. Nothing is being taken away from you. Easter is not being taken away from you. Just something else is being celebrated at the same time. And all of your religious festivals will still be allowed to take place at the times that they take place in the calendar year. As I said before, if you want Easter lights hanging over London, then pay for them, like these people paid to have their lights hung over London. It's really not that big of a deal. And I imagine most of the people whinging about this sort of thing are not the people that will spend the weekend sat in church, taking part in religious activities. They're the ones that will take part in enjoying having four days off, probably getting on the lash and having a nice weekend. And that's fine. But to anyone that's watching in the UK or anywhere in the world that is a Christian, then I wish you a very, very happy Easter. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful weekend. And to everyone else that's just moaning about this for the sake of moaning, get over it, move on. It's not that big of a deal.